notice my nose flares a lot <laughs> <laughs> when I'm on camera. I'm like, am I actually doing that? Makes you look extra angry. Yes. <laughs> it's not the intention. Candace, can I get those numbers by the end of the day? Yes, sir. Absolutely. End of day. Five o'clock. Got it? Five o'clock. You got it. You hear me, Candy? I want better for you. You know that, right? What is the point of art? Of beauty? We create, striving to reflect. What? So when I came to you with this idea, originally, mm -hmm. I was going to have you dance in the snow to a song. Do you remember that? I remember it now that you said it. This was that. I just, oh, I wow. just wanted to do something to the music. <laughs> uh -huh. And then I was like, well, if we're going to record it, they might as well tell a story, you know? Indeed. And then didn't we switch it to like rain afterwards? Yeah, and I was like, it's going to rain. <laughs> and then, it never rained. you know, it never rained. <laughs> it's fine. The music speaks for itself. Um, so when I actually gave you a script, <laughs> what did you think about it? Um, well, first of all, it was kind of like too realistic <laughs> because <laughs> I was actually dealing with feeling a little bit of, I don't want to use the word oppression <laughs> um, in the work field because I liked my job, I loved my job, I loved the people I was working with, but there was just like, I don't need to be dancing behind a register. I'm sure I'm not supposed to be doing that, but I need to be dancing. So I need to be in a field or in a place where I'm dancing, where I'm able to you know, express that part of me. So, so the script basically kind of yeah, spoke I'm to just where- kind of reading my mail or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I definitely wrote it that way because I think a lot of people who are creative or artistic feel that pull, you know, ultimately like, well, we have to do whatever's gonna pay the bills or whatever our family's counting on us to do or telling us to do or whatever somebody we trust says is a good idea. Right. But it's often not like actually what we love or care about. Or what you have a passion for. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm not passionate about selling shoes, but I did it for a few years to pay the bills, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I laugh, <laughs> cause yeah. Um, <laughs> So did you have any like thoughts or stories that you put behind the character? Because we didn't really dig too much into the character of Candace other than we mm -hmm. saw life happening around her and you know her reactions to it. Um, there was a part when her mom came in and like you said, um, most of the time when you trust someone, you trust their opinion about how you should move forward and um, I've always trusted my mom's, you know, uh, guidance and direction. I still do to this day. Um, but being able to find, you know, that sort of distinction between trusting your mom, just your mom's voice, and knowing that you can trust your own um, decision, ability to make a decision that you feel is best for you too, that was kind of, you know, feeding, I guess, or that was significant for me. Um, so yeah, hey mom, thinking of you. So all good things, all good things. <laughs> and I mean, you're, I, I know you guys in real life, like right, your mom's creative too, so off, also mm -hmm. there's that perspective of I'm a creative person and yeah. also these are the things to do to make life right. work. So which made her um, suggestion, you know, that much more trustworthy because she had like personal experience attached to it. So I was like, okay, so I guess I'll just get a regular job, and and then when I can, yeah, right. hit the studio. And then, so we kind of saw, I don't want to call it a coming of age story, because I feel like everybody's like, oh, it's a coming of age story, no matter what the story is. Like, it doesn't, it could be about a dog. <laughs> They're <laughs> like, it's a coming of age story. Maybe it was. Not that deep. Right. <laughs> um, we, you do, like your character makes a decision at the end of the story and we're not going to give it away like maybe she walks away from her dreams or maybe she doesn't but um the story itself poses some important questions 
right? Were there any like reactions to you? Because I barely give you time to prepare for that voiceover at the end of it. I'm just like, here it is, go ahead. Um, did you have any like emotional reaction or things that you're like, this is what I would want to tell someone else in my shoes, like me from five years ago or whatever? I thought the piece was very, um, speaking of that, you know, dramatic coming of age type feel, it was pretty cerebral, you know, but still straightforward, like asking yourself, why is your art important to you? And why do you think it would be important to someone else, you know, is definitely significant. Um, I think it's responsible of, you know, any artist to ask that question of themselves before you just, I mean, you could totally just do something because you love it, and at the same time want to be, you know, effective for the environment and those around you. You can have purpose for it too, so um, that was something that stood out to me, or I had a reaction to. Um, plus, you, like, know how to word things very precisely and concisely at the same time. I have the horrible, horriblest time doing that. If I'm gonna be deep, I need to <laughs> say it in these really <laughs> outlandish, make, say words that people probably don't even understand. But um, it's okay to make people think about the message too. Like yeah. it doesn't have to be immediately they understand it. And that's okay. Okay. But yeah, this was definitely straightforward and captivating all at once so yeah yeah that's cool I'm glad to hear that and the whole piece was inspired by a song that a friend of mine wrote like a million not a million years ago but it was it's not new but Thomas Daniel Tom mm -hmm. um, his piece was sort of like the backbone of the whole story because I felt like musically it really illustrated that push and pull yeah. you know of beauty and a little bit of sadness and a little bit of uncertainty and it, for me, really propelled the whole story idea forward. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to share the music with people in that context, too. And, yeah. you know, to see that gorgeous dancing that, you know, you brought to the, the story as well. So I hope people are inspired by it and they um, are encouraged in their creative pursuits, you know, mm -hmm. when they watch it. And that the whole creative community, we just continue to do what we love and make a difference, hopefully, for the people around us. I'm with it. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for being a part of the project. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Anytime. Thank you for having me. So it's always a pleasure. Go watch the station. <laughs>